jury has spoken and has convicted Anthony Taglianetti of murder in the shooting death of Clymer School Superintendent Keith Reed. Good evening to you. Prosecutors painted the defendant as an angry husband driven to kill by jealousy. And late today, the jury agreed it's been a very emotional time for the families touched by this high profile trial. This is new video from inside the courtroom just after the verdict was read out loud late today. The case brought out very dramatic testimony and evidence. News 4's George Rickard has been covering the case every step of the way. He's live from Chautauqua County Court right now. George? Well, and this was a long time coming. Remember, these jurors, the jury selection began seven weeks ago. That went slowly. The trial itself went slowly over the last two and a half weeks. In all, the jurors were only in court about 10 actual days to hear the trial. But today, it took them less than three hours to return a guilty verdict. We have reaction now, beginning with the defense attorney. We're disappointed. We had uh, hoped for a, uh, an acquittal on the case, uh, but we were prepared to accept any verdict that came in and deal with it appropriately. It took jurors less than three hours to reach a guilty verdict, but DA David Foley knew it was still all circumstantial evidence. Well, I would never characterize anything as being a slam dunk. I mean, the burden's on the people always to prove the case. You always have certain hurdles that you have to overcome, and, you know, my opinion, no case is easy. The 12 jurors were picked more than a month ago, and two of them told me that the most compelling evidence was the DNA showing Keith Reed's blood on the 357 Magnum, which was found in Taglianetti's car a week after the murder. This juror says he spoke with Keith Reed's father after the verdict. After the trial, um, I shook uh, Mr. Reed's uh, hand and his wife's hand. Um, either way of my decision would have been uh, that I was sorry for their loss. I mean, that was the, the main thing. Uh, this hopefully gives them some closure behind it. As far as the verdict goes, we're happy about the verdict. We're not satisfied with it. We've lost a son and a brother and a, a father, and no one's happy. Uh, personally, it's my fervent hope that uh, Mr. Taglianetti's had his 15 minutes of fame, and he'll be relegated to the ash heap of history and uh, be lost someplace deep in the balls of the state penal system. Now, Kevin Reed, who you just heard there, is a former FBI agent himself. His dad, the victim's dad, uh, Keith Reed's father, was the mayor of Salamanca. Also, Keith Reed's three daughters were also in court. All of them have been here throughout this trial. There were no gasps from the courtroom. Everyone remained silent when this verdict was announced. Taglianetti showed no real sign of emotion. He, of course, plans to appeal, and he has until late February before sentencing, and he could face 25 years to life. For now, live at Chautauqua County Courthouse, George Rickard, News 4 at 6.